Hi everyone. I love being outside this time of year. I hope that you're enjoying the beauty of God's creation on these summer days. We have a lot of things to think about today. One is that it's a communion Sunday, so you might be sharing communion with your family. Remember, communion is a sacrament. It's a time when we do something that helps us remember the words and actions, the life of Jesus. Jesus shared juice and bread and special words with his disciples long, long ago at the Last Supper. And Pastor Clover and Pastor Ian share those things with us now so we can remember Jesus. Today we can also think about Pentecost. Audrey talked about it last week. Pentecost is the day when we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming into our world. It came to the disciples in a hot wind, in a closed room, and it's still with us today. The Holy Spirit is that still small voice that we hear in our minds that helps us know what is the next right thing to do. We're also going to talk today about a parable. A parable is a special kind of story that Jesus told. Jesus used things that were familiar to the people who lived all those thousands of years ago. It's when the world was very different from the world that we live in now. This is called the parable of the sower. A sower is like a farmer or a planter, someone who sows seeds. Back in the time of Jesus, farmers planted large fields with crops of grain. They harvested that grain and used it to make bread. That was their food crop. So they didn't plant the way we do in our gardens, making a careful row and planting seeds one or two at a time and covering them over. They carried a bag of seeds on their shoulder, they would reach in and grab a whole handful of seeds and scatter them and reach in again and scatter the seeds. That way they could plant a whole field quickly. And the parable is about where those seeds landed. Some of the seeds ended up on the hard path and the birds ate them, so they didn't have a chance to grow. Some of them landed in the rocks and they might start growing there, but there wasn't space for them to grow roots, so they didn't live on. Some of them landed in the weeds, and weeds are so strong that the grain seeds just didn't have a chance to grow there either. But some of the seeds landed in soft soil. They landed where there were no rocks. They landed where there were no weeds. They landed where there was water and they grew to be the source of food for the sower. This parable is one that Jesus taught and he compared God to the sower. He said that God plants seeds of love in our hearts. Sometimes our Hearts are hard and closed, maybe because we're angry, so the seeds of love can't grow. Sometimes we forget. We forget about love and loving God and loving one another, so the seeds of love don't grow. Sometimes we're so busy and distracted by all sorts of other thoughts that we don't share love, but sometimes our hearts are open and we remember to love one another, to love our neighbors, to love people we know, our family and friends, to love people we will never meet. One of the ways that we can love these people and have those seeds of love grow in our hearts is by saying our prayers. We can pray for people in the whole world. We can pray that all people have what they need food and medicine, homes. We can pray that all the people in the whole world know that they're not alone and that they are loved. We can pray for all the people in the whole world that they will be treated kindly and fairly. 
we can pray that God's justice and love will be for everyone, everywhere. Let's say our prayers now together. We'll fold our hands and bow our heads and close our eyes, and we'll have a few moments of silence at the beginning of our prayer. Now I'd like you to think about love and the seeds of love growing in your heart during that quiet time, and then I'll say our prayer. Dear God, we give you thanks for the life of Jesus. Thank you again for the stories, for the parables that he told. We thank you, God, that you are planting seeds of love in our hearts always. And we thank you for all the ways that those can grow. God, please help us to live in to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. Help us to know what is the next right thing. Help us to know how to share love with our smiles and our kindness and our prayers for all your people. God, we give you thanks for our family and our friends. We thank you for all the heroes and helpers in the whole world. We thank you, God, for all the people who need to know they are not alone that they are loved. We pray for all the people that they will be treated kindly and fairly. We pray in the name of Jesus, your son, the risen Christ, and we all say together, Amen. Amen. Let the seeds of love that God planted in your hearts grow and grow and grow and share them with everyone you meet. We'll see you next time. Bye.